What are you doing? I'm making a video. Ew! <laughs> What? He can stay in here. Oh, well, well, he's not going to now that you're here. Am I leaving? Is this door open or closed? Greetings oh. and salutations. Happy S Easter. <laughs> Six feet. It's like ten. <laughs> There's cooties all over that pillow. You need to Ooh. wash that COVID-19. I'm clean. I'm clean. Finally ready for this life update. I'm sitting in my room. It is currently 7.40, Sunday, April 12th. Happy Easter. It obviously won't be Easter when you see this, but it is Easter day, quarantine Easter 2020. I'm making this video because I haven't really given you guys an update or like a reason why I've missed out on so many videos. Like I just haven't been on YouTube a lot. So anyway, we'll just go like a year or like the last six months. You guys know I quit my job March of 2019 at Lucky Wishbone, the restaurant I worked at. I was like a hostess and a waitress there. So, had like a good summer, traveled, just had fun with it. I got a dog or a puppy, and he's cool. He's over nine months old now, so he's growing pretty quick. He's huge. This basically just takes us to September, where I started in the veterinary program through my college here in Anchorage. And it's actually through UAA, which is through a smaller college, a Matsu College out in the valley, which is like 45 minutes to an hour away from my home. So I would take taking these veterinary classes out there, just say October 30th, 2019, Tyler proposed me. And then I was like, oh, well, I need a job. Packer's getting older. That's the dog's name. He won't need as much supervision. So I was thinking about working at a clinic because if I'm in school to become a veterinary assistant, might as well just like get a job in the veterinary field. So I applied to like a daycare, like doggy daycares and clinics. And I actually got offered a job a half an hour away from my house. I was like, just give me a second. Um, I'm actually going to apply to another clinic closer to my house. And they're like, cool, okay. So I got the job at the closer clinic to my house and turned down the one that was farther away from home because it's smart to work, just work smarter, from, just work closer to home, you know? So I took that job, didn't really get any shifts yet. She was like, let's do it. Like, just figure out your schedule and we'll get you there. And I was like, okay. But that wasn't, I was like, oh, probably should get a job in the meantime. So I just went back to Lucky Wish one to be a hostess, hostess and work my way up back up to waiting shifts and that's cool that's fine so we're like in december got some waiting shifts and whatnot making a little bit of money here and there like confirm a wedding date a wedding venue start getting vendors and all that and then like january rolls around i'm like maybe i should um get another job in the meantime while i'm working up to waiting again i started applying at doggy daycares and this one really close to home wanted me and then my availability just wasn't for her so it's okay. I got hired at a different one. I was working at Lucky Wishbone and then I started working at the daycare. So like three shifts and three shifts basically all week 40-ish hours and in school because I still had one class in the valley for the, the veterinary um, assisting program. So that's that. Then clinic that I was talking about earlier finally got like we got in touch and she's like, are you still interested? And I was like, of course, yes, I am. So I fill out the papers on March 14th. So now I have Lucky Wishbone, Doggy Daycare and fill out the papers. The morning of March 14th, I fill out the papers and the quarantining social distancing had just started. So it was like, yikes, what's gonna happen with everything? She's like, we'll just play it by ear and whatnot. So March 14th happened and then March 16th, I was at my daycare job and they decided to close all the dining areas in Anchorage so you couldn't like eat in anymore. It had to be like takeout or delivery or drive through. So my first official waiting shift, which is five to 11. So you're like five to close your closer got, I guess, taken away from me because of quarantine and social distancing and COVID-19. So that kind of sucks. I was really looking forward to it. So I had Lucky Wishbone and then I had the doggy daycare and the clinic, which I just wasn't going to start because quarantine. So no Lucky Wishbone and no clinic. So that just left me with the doggy daycare job for a week or two. And then they decided to close for a week. So I got hired as a barista at a coffee shop here in Anchorage. So I went from Lucky Wish Moon Doggy Daycare Clinic to the barista job. <laughs> so yeah, it's just been kind of crazy with this job situation and money because weddings are expensive and Tyler's doing his part like and all that. And I don't want like our parents to be too involved. Like, I really want to pay for it a lot. But I mean, they want to help, that'd be cool. So, and I appreciate that. Like, 
it's just been kind of hard and this quarantine is not helping the COVID-19 is not helping I know that we all have to do our part to flatten the curve so we can all just get back to our normal lives which I don't think they'll be that normal they'll be like semi-normal we'll see I'm just like kind of bummed because I was like killing it I was like working 40 hours a week going to school taking care of the dog like, time I could see each other and like can't really see each other much because like my parents are kind of at high risk they're a little bit older and he lives in a different house and he's with the public and I'm with the public so it's like he can't really come here so so it's all kind of just like up in the air and then our wedding isn't until the beginning of September like basically Labor Day weekend so it's like do we postpone now or like do we play it by ear like what what do we do really hard to plan a wedding because nobody knows the future right like we don't know where we could be in like four months because I think it's less than four months now but <sighs> it's been kind of crazy I don't know it's just I just wanted to update you on my life and what I've been doing so I've just been working a lot like November to the middle of March just worked like crazy to get some money for this wedding get school in order to graduate taking care of my dog being responsible with that it's just hard and like I'm sure whomever's watching this you're struggling too everybody's struggling to figure out what's going on everyone's affected by this every single person except like I mean and there's no actually there's no exception like kids kids just don't know what's going on really because they don't understand so it just kind of sucks and I wanted to update you on my job situation and what I've been doing just wanted to update and talk in general really about jobs and how hard it is to be young like this and want to start your life but can't because of something that's not in your control and it sucks and I just don't want to sit around and do nothing and I love making YouTube videos I want to like reignite my passion for it and like have a relationship with my viewers and help you guys any way I can and even you can help me you watching this video m makes me feel like I still have that little tiny support system on the internet here and I really appreciate that oh my arm made noise on the chair and I thought somebody was by my window it scared me what are you guys doing what are you guys up to just hanging out springy bed spread. I really want to make more videos and just work on my mental health and work on my physical health. It's really hard when there are no gyms open. You can't really do much outside because you can't really hang out with anybody. You can't go too far out of your community. So I've just been walking my dog every day. Let's just say like this week, the week of yeah March 6th through 11th, I walked a dog that's a client at our daycare for four days like Tuesday through Friday and then Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday I worked at the coffee shop so yeah I'm still kind of working I'm grateful for that someone just came in our house I will be hopefully I want to be I want to be more on this YouTube thing I want to post more videos and just be on it and make myself happy again I'm just like not in it anymore and it makes me really sad so hopefully like getting into the swing of things will I want my life to, life to be, go semi back to normal, so maybe making videos will help that. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate the time you're taking out of your quarantine to watch this video. Give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in my next video, which is probably going to be Tyler and I, my fiance, working side by side in the coffee shop, because he works in the coffee shop too, for like a night. <laughs> It's kind of funny. We were doing a bunch of TikTok dances and stuff, but um, check. be sure to look out for it this next week. Or maybe it's already up. Maybe I'm posting this update first or the thing second, but whatever. Um, I'll see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Bye.